Hey team, how are we doing? It's Gavin here from Starfresh Personal Training. This video, kind of a bit abstract, I guess, but um, I'm gonna go for it anyway. Um, I kind of stole this uh, this story from a guy called Simon Senek, who's, um, I think, well actually, I think he's like a leadership um, leadership mentor. Um, and if you've never um, if you've never heard who he is, I highly recommend uh, tr just uh, Google uh, Simon Senek and listen to some of his videos, absolutely amazing. Anyway. Um, I was watching one of his uh, videos yesterday and he was talking about a story that he's had um, regarding um, uh, finishing a, a marathon in New York. Um, and essentially, he sort of breaks it down into two, two groups of people. I'm gonna sort of put my spin on it because I thought it was really, really insightful. So, story goes something like this. He um, did a marathon with his friend and at the end of the marathon, obviously he's tired, uh, exhausted, all the feelings that come with, uh, with the marathon and there was free bagels at the end. And he said to his friend, hey man, let's, um, let's go and get a free bagel. And he goes, ah, there's a big queue. He goes, yeah, no, but there's a free bagel and we're hungry. He goes, yeah, but there's a big queue. Um, and what he kind of talks about is, you know, one person sees the fact that there's something there, a goal, um, and despite the, the, queue, the long queue to get there's something for free, the free bagel, uh, the other person was willing just to, to go without. And all the other person could see was an obstacle. So when we're looking, so I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put a spin on this towards fat loss and, and exercise and getting back in fitness, okay? So when you first, um, you know, you come to that point, that long journey, and you may decide that you need to make a change, okay? So that's the end of the marathon. Then you obviously look at the, the task ahead, okay? And that could be, you know, losing some weight. And I'll use losing the weight as an example because I can, I can actually refer to that myself personally. Um, and you look at it and you go, do you know what? That's so hard. Um, but you could be the other person as well to look at it and go, yep, that's hard, but my goal is the bagel, my goal is the fat loss and the weight loss, and I want that, and I am gonna do whatever I can. So, let's go back to that bagel scenario. There's, there's a big queue, right? So let's just say, um, you know, there's no boundaries or anything else, um, and I want you to think of maybe four ways how you could get the free bagel um, despite the queue being there. So this is gonna break you down into two people, okay? He's gonna be either be gonna either gonna get a pen and paper and gonna write it down, or you're just gonna to listen to what I'm saying um, and just you know not take any action roll, okay? So I'm gonna give you one second, um, and you pause the video and you're gonna come back when you're ready, and uh, we'll carry on. All right, so hopefully uh, you've paused it and you're back, okay? So did you uh, did you write down how many ways to uh, try and get a bagel? So for me, um, I look at that obstacle and I would think, well, like a push to the front. Yeah, okay, might be a quick fix. Might not be very well liked by people. Uh, people might get a bit grumpy that I've pushed in, but I've got the bagel, it's all good. Or I could uh, come to the middle of the line, squeeze my arm through and, and, and get, grab a bagel that way. Um, I could maybe walk around the other side or distract somebody and steal a bagel that way. Um, or I could still be that person and just, you know, look and say the queue's too big, it's too hard, I'm not even gonna try. Or what you could do is queue up with a bagel, okay? Now, what's gonna happen is, you're gonna need patience, okay? You're gonna be in a long line of people trying to get the bagel. You're gonna be, so let's just attribute the bagel to fat loss, and you're gonna be wanting to lose weight. So if you, if you employ uh, patience, which is what I always say, you know, there's no quick fixes to this. Think about what's gonna happen. Um, you queue up uh, in that bagel, and all of a sudden, you're with a group of people that want what you want, okay? And they kind of, um, they got the same kind of belief as you have. They wanna get the free bagel, they're happy to queue up and they got the same mindset as you um, and they're gonna queue up and they're gonna work um, and wait and be patient with that goal. Then what's gonna happen is you might start a conversation with somebody in that queue and that conversation might bring you a, um, you know, an opportunity or a new friend or to you know, talk about your problems with, with regards to weight loss. Obviously we're talking about that. But you know, you're gonna have lots of these opportunities that's gonna come up with having the patience that you have. So um, I've done a video on something called serendipity um, and I've, I'll probably link that below actually if you watch this on YouTube. And it's about all, the, all the, um, the good things that happened to me since I've got fit, lost weight and the opportunities opened up to me. Um, and uh, I, you know, it's, it's, it's amazing opportunities. So if you're that person who's willing to put the weight in and to queue up, okay, um, you're gonna have lots of the good things happen. And all it's about is enjoying that journey through. So when you go on your weight loss journey, you know, I'm, not, I'm guilty of it as well, I wanted it fast, I wanted it quicker, but when I sort of realized and got into it, I actually realized the benefits of taking my time and enjoying the journey were a lot better than actually getting the six pack which I had in the end. Um, and it was 
you know, looking back at it now, it was such a, a cool time. I learned so much about health fitness. Um, I learned how my body reacted because it's all a learning curve. Nobody could tell me how many carbs I need, how many, how many, um, how many calories I need. I worked it out for myself. And that's an amazing thing because now I'm in total control. So through that journey, I've met amazing people. I took a personal training course. I've met some fantastic people on the way through. I've helped oh, probably close on 100, 200 people now since in, in, my, in my short training career. Um, people have got amazing results based on my patience um, to actual wait for that bagel and wait in that queue. Um, and there are opportunities that would never have happened. I've started doing vlogs, which oh, going back when I was overweight, I'd never have done it. I was, didn't have the confidence to do it. But by choosing to wait in line and having the patience to come forward, I managed to do and meet and, and achieve some amazing things, okay? Um, and, you know, same with my business as well, you know, my little business, of personal training business. Um, you know, I want to help as many people as I can because I get such a buzz from it. Um, and I'm patient with it, you know, I'm, you know, I, when I first started off, I wanted two clients. Now I've got, you know, quite a lot now. Um, and, you know, the, the opportunity has been amazing. I met some amazing people. And that's what it's all about, is having the patience to, to stick with the journey and go forward. So if you go back to, you know, your person that wants to lose weight, okay, you know, you'd probably decide, based on this video, did you take five minutes to write down how to get the bagel, how, you know, the obstacles that's in your way, and instead of you know looking at the obstacle and going, you know, I'd rather not do any of it because it's too hard, find a solution to your problem because as soon as you label um, label the problem, which is the queue or the whatever it is, and start listing solutions to that problem, some amazing things start to happen. You become more aware, um, then you become a little bit excited because you know you think, hey, actually this is doable now. Um, you know, and, and find solutions to the problem. The problem could be anything for you. That, 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 um, that line, that queue could be, um, you know, time, it could be family, it could be not knowing what foods to eat. They're all little obstacles that you need to come over, okay? And, you know, you, and a simple Google will tell you everything you need to know, no doubt. Um, and you could type in, you know, how to maximize your time with fitness. I've done, even done blogs in it and I can help you with that. But you need to find what works for you. So be that person that looks at the obstacle and goes, yep, yeah, yeah, it's, I'm gonna, it's gonna take some time. Yes, there's a line, yes, there's a queue, but I actually want the bagel. I want that that thing at the end. Um, instead of being the person that goes, nah, it's too hard and it's too much of a queue, I don't wanna, I don't wanna wait. Because I'll tell you something now, the time is gonna go anyway. Um, you know, if you look back to um, where you were this time last year, let's say it's coming out, it's in December now, you may want to lose weight in the new year. Um, if you did want to lose weight this time last year and you haven't achieved weight loss this year, well, what years already passed. All the only thing you didn't do was just take some kind of action. Um, and you saw the problems being too big. So, you know, the time will pass regardless of the action you take, but the journey involved and the opportunities that come from losing weight are absolutely phenomenal. Um, and, you know, you just gotta do it. You just gotta take some actions. You need to be a problem solver as, a pro as opposed to just, um, you know, a problem seer. Um, and once you uh, once you do that, you know you're gonna you're gonna be successful at the end of it. And yeah, you might drop drop off course, but you know as I said, it's all about starting afresh and jumping back back in line and getting it done again. Um, so that's my uh, little words of wisdom. Anyway, Simon Sinek, brilliant. Google him. Um, you you see some uh, some really cool cool stuff from, and he's got some really really cool theories and ideas. Uh, he's quite an inspiring guy to listen to. Um, and hopefully, I did his story very justice. But anyway, like I said, guys, as always, start afresh because if you don't make a change today, how will tomorrow be different? Take care, guys. Bye.